Here we go, folks. I've got one of the back wheels off the Sirocco. Got the back headlight, eh, back headlights. Back light clusters off as well. They're over there, getting a, another couple of layers of tint. And actually looking a lot better from here, actually. Uh, I'm going to change the pads on this. I'd noticed when I painted the front calipers that the back pads were a bit rough. The discs are a bit rough as well, actually. There's plenty of thickness left in them, so I'll give them a clean up. Uh, but the calipers, I'm going to paint them blue, like the front ones. So, I can't find a wire brush anywhere. I'll find it when I'm finished, obviously. Uh, so, I'm going to use the drill attachment bits. And I'll use some various grades. Emery paper, sandpaper, whatever you like to call it. Uh, so I'll basically just be going like this. Oops. There goes the light. This will pick up. Putting on a dust mask as well. There's a lot of difference already. Start picking that up. A little bit. So I'll crack on. There we go. We've got it all stripped. I've masked off around the big centre piston on the caliper. Masked off the bleed screw nipple. And masked off around the back there. I'm, I was going to take the carrier off, but it's a bloody, it looks a nightmare to get it off. So I'm just going to paint it around it. I'm doing it with brush anyway, so. All good. Hammer right at the ready. There we go. That's just one coat they've had. Uh, I'm going to build them back up again, give them another coat. There's a couple of little bits I've missed. So I've got the pads obviously off. It's this type that's on this one. And I've got a set of Brembo's to put on. These are really cheap. They were coming up at £25 in Euro car parts website when you put in the reg. Then when I went in and say I've get a trade discount, they were like £15. So bargain. I was wanting discs as well, but I couldn't actually get them. Uh, they didn't do drilled Brembo ones. So I'll just clean up the old ones, stick them back on. Plenty of life left in them. As soon as your car's parked up, get the wheels off it. That's your brake reservoir. You want to loosen the top off of this and just leave it loose sitting there. Keep an eye on this during the process of pushing the pistons back in again. Because what can happen is this can overflow. I've actually been lucky this time, it came right up to just shy of the brim, so I didn't have to take any out of it. Just thought I'd mention this, folks. Copper Ease. That's just the brand name. Which is Copper Grease. Or Copper Slip. Which I think is another brand. I'll put that here. On the piston. That touches the back of the other pad. And I'll also put some Copper Slip. On the inside of these bits. Where it touches the front pad. I used to just put it all over the pad but then you end up washing the car and it throws all the loose stuff and uncovered stuff everywhere. So top tip. I've also painted up these hubs. Well when I say hubs is the centre part of the brake discs. Gave them all a clean with the wire brush like I said. Uh, copper slip on the hub then put the disc back on. Just watch you don't get copper slip in the holes for the bolts. I can see a little bit ease through there. Uh, that'll in turn make your wheel bolts come loose. So don't ever put copper slip on your wheel bolts. If you're ever going to put anything on your wheel bolts, put some engine oil. 
not WD-40, not copper slip, nothing like that at all. So I'll crack on. There we go, folks. All back on again. Job's a good one.